Uh, I think when you when a guest first comes to the museum, it's easy to be overwhelmed by the sheer size of it and the scale of the things here. But what is great about the Field Museum is that it was designed specifically to house our collections from the 1893 World's Fair. And so there's details in the architecture that let you know that this was built especially for a museum of natural history. So you have um, the maidens on the interior as well as the base reliefs outside that highlight our curatorial schools, zoology, botany, uh, anthropology, and geology, uh, all of which were designed by Henry Herring for this building. On the north end of Stanley Field Hall, we have two maidens representing uh, the natural sciences and the dissemination of knowledge. Uh, the maiden representing natural sciences is holding a human skull and we have a maiden holding a small child and a book and uh, reading to him and sharing knowledge with him. What's nice about them is that they have details that let you know um, what they're describing. So on the southwest side you have research and she's holding a magnifying glass and a specimen whereas on the southwest side you have recording and she's holding a tablet and a quill and making a note of the research that was discovered of the specimen. So it's a nice little nod to what our scientists do here. I like to let people know that uh, the maidens are representative of the mission of the museum, uh, the dissemination of knowledge, researching of and recording of the natural sciences in the world around us. So no matter what, when you come in here, you know what you're getting, and you're getting uh, a museum housing, a world-renowned collection. So.